If you're familiar with Donald Trump's criminal defense attorney Jay Sekulow, it's probably because Sekulow once appeared on Fox News and gave such a bewilderingly stupid answer, host Chris Wallace famously blurted out oh, boy this is weird. It turns out Sekulow is even dumber than we thought. In fact he's allegedly committed two different kinds of felonies and there appears to be hard and fast evidence to nail him on at least one of them. When Michael Cohen showed up to Congress for his fourth round of testimony today, he brought several suitcases full of evidence with him. We still don't know the full extent of what was in those suitcases, but two separate storylines have surfaced. One is that Jay Sekulow instructed Cohen in writing to lie to Congress in 2017 about Trump Tower Moscow. The other is that Sekulow tried to dangle a pardon in Cohen's face. So why is this so devastating? Assuming Cohen's evidence really does support this, Jay Sekulow is going down for suborning perjury and obstruction of justice on the testimony issue, and he's going down for obstruction of justice on the pardon issue. That means Sekulow is going to prison for a long time unless he cuts a plea deal against Donald Trump. Sekulow can testify about any crimes he and Trump plotted together as attorney-client privilege doesn't apply to such situations. We'll see what Jay Sekulow does. But if he's not planning to cut a plea deal, then his life is over and he might as well just report to prison right now. Sure, Sekulow is the kind of person who's dumb enough to hold out for an imaginary Trump pardon. But considering he was in on the original attempt at conning Michael Cohen into believing he would be pardoned, perhaps Sekulow won't fall for the pardon scam himself.